Hey produce people, we're here in Tampa, Florida. I got Dan the produce man and we are about to check out this Whole Foods Market. It's two stories, heck I think it's three stories with the parking. We are gonna find some cool produce here at Whole Foods, right Dan? Darn right folks, awesome. Step one, get a cart. All right, so right when we enter the store, the produce department is the first department that we see. Avocados, freaking everything. Blueberries. And oh. more. So let's check out this produce department, get some snacks while we're on the road here in Tampa. Ooh, yeah. And uh, so come on, come with us. Got some blues. Got the blues, baby. Oh. Imports. I don't think I'm satisfied with getting some mandarins yet. Okay, look at the watermelon versus the watermelon that we saw yesterday. Fresh cut watermelon, you always got to look at the bottom. Juice is always going to go to the bottom no matter what. But here we go, baby. This is good stuff. Right. I think one thing that has to go on the cart is some strawberries, everyone. Check out the fresh cut strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put them in the cart. All this fresh salsa. Even though I'm an apple guy, I'm sitting here by the apples. I'm trying to find a different variety. These are all organic, but you've got the Fuji, you've got the Gala, you've got all the OGs. Heck, you've got the organic opal apple as well. Oh, Patrick, Patrick, look what we got here. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir, the Dracula blood orange. That's oh, a definite yeah. one. We got to put that one in the cart. Oh, absolutely. And when you're shopping and you see some of the friends you know, we got Noble Worldwide Citrus right there, everyone. I what do you want? An apple. You want an apple. And it's a honey of a crisp. When, you, when the guy wants an apple, you get him an apple. Darn right. I want to bite into it right now. What's an organic pear. red pear? Dan, is just the outside red? Well, let's take a look and see. This most likely is a... Uh, it's shaped like a Diangio, but it could be a Bartlett. But it's not red inside? No, no, it's not red inside. Oh, there's a Bartlett. Yeah, those are Bartlets. No, this isn't a red Bartlett. It's I like, think we should pick like up a couple... We should probably pick up a couple pears too, don't you think? Yeah. What do you want, a red huh? Alright, everyone. I'm not really a pear guy, but I'm starting to get into them because of Dan. Let me ask you a question. Comment below and let me know what your favorite pear is. The thing is with, with pears, Bartlett pear is really the only one that you want to have full yellow. Every other variety, these Northwest pears like the Boss, and the Red Diangio and the Diangio, you just want to give around the stem area. You want this part to remain firm because if you let these get soft and yellow like the Bartlett, then you're going to have a, a very mushy eating experience. They're very, very good in this condition. Bartlett's the only one that you want to get nice and yellow. Fat and pack them. All right, everyone, you know I'm a citrus guy, so we got to get some citrus. We tried the pomelos, the Starburst pomelos, but we are going to go with some organic red grapefruit today. And a big one, too. And maybe a small one. Got citrus from Florida and citrus from California. Oh, yeah. All right, I always check out the fresh juices. I think we have to check them out. We have to grab a couple for our car ride. Absolutely. There's some brands here, like Evolution, that's owned by Starbucks, everyone. You've got Tropicana, you've got all the ones that you really know. Palm, wonderful. I say we try one that's off the beaten path. Yeah, absolutely. What about the Whole Foods brand? Definitely gonna get some Whole Foods fresh squeezed orange juice. Me? <laughs> I'm going for the bouncing <laughs> celery bacon. juice. <laughs> the bouncing celery juice. So good that it bounces right off the floor. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Do you like the best, the beets? I like to buy their fresh beets here. They have orange ones and red ones, and they're easy to roast, and then the skin comes right off, and then I slice them and put them in salads. Awesome. Love it. Pre appreciate it. That's Thank you. All right, everyone. So we grabbed some juice from Whole Foods, but I just noticed one that we see. This is a local, and I am going to grab it because I've not seen Uncle Matt's. I follow Matt on LinkedIn, but I have not tried the juice. So guess what? 
We are going to try some of Uncle Matt's orange juice. How do those mangoes look? Damn, look what I found. Oh yeah. Bananas, baby. And they're organic. They're from Colombia. But are they fair trade, Dan? Are they fair trade? I think it's called whole trade. It's, it's whole trade bananas. We're gonna pick up a bunch of bananas because we've got some banana fun coming later. So everyone, these bananas are not fair trade. They are Rainforest Alliance and they are a source for good, everyone, okay? A little bit different and we will let you know what fair trade is and how it, di how it differs from organic, conventional, and then again, the Rainforest Alliance. So stay tuned. Hey Dan, should we grab some of the Zest for Gold Kiwis? Did you know you can bite right into these and eat the entire kiwi? Just like a peach. Just like a peach. And a lot of nutrients are in the skin. All right, so you got the gold kiwi, and then we're going to do the same, yes, with the red kiwi. Darn right, man, because all the nutrients are in the skin. Well, not all the nutrients. A lot of nutrients are in the skins as well. So we're just going to eat them just like peaches. Dan, oh my gosh. If you turn behind you in a second, there's a fresh juicing machine, a real fresh juicing machine that we have to check out. Now, as I would love to get some onions, potatoes, these are tough ones to snack on on the road and while you're in a hotel. Unless it's a sweet onion, these are some of my favorite. Ooh, these are, they're by Tasteful Selections. They're called Nibbles. These are some of my favorites. Dan, look at the packaging on this. Is that nice? Tasteful Selections. Ask the potatoes what they're doing. What are those potatoes doing? Just hanging. You know what's crazy, Dan, is what I love? Take a look behind you and see how many people are shopping in the produce aisle. I'm afraid to Patrick. I'm oh. scared. Yes, that's it. Eat your fruits and vegetables, folks. It's packed in here, everyone. It is packed, and everybody is buying fresh produce, okay? Let's keep going. Stand in line to do some fresh juicing. Over here, it smells like citrus, everyone. I grab as seen here. All right, so we got the oranges up top and we got the juice below. It is going to squeeze this juice, everyone, so let's see. All right, so we got the oranges up top. Look at it crushing those oranges. Oh. Pure freshness. So big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. You know, there's nothing like fresh Valencia juice, that's for sure. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm. The juice from a Valencia, it's the best. Look at this veg section. It's always great to get a little prepared salad. That's right. There's no excuse not to eat it when it's all ready for it. You know, Dan, when they say taste the rainbow, I think that's what they mean. Now this is something I haven't had yet, Dan. The yellow dragon fruit, $6.99 a pound. I, I think we should get one. Yeah. I've, I, I've had the well, I've had the traditional those. red. What? Oh. I've had the traditional red, but I have not had the yellow dragon fruit. That's the one that, that's the one that has the flavor. Let's grab it. Okay. Do we need more we always bananas? Always need more bananas. Okay, just check it. Well, folks, I wouldn't be dog gone. I'd be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. This is an amazing piece of fruit. It's very similar to Nike and Rambutan. But this has its own natural maple syrup flavor. We're gonna enjoy these. Look at all the tomato spread. You gotta love tomatoes. On this trip though, we are not in the tomato business, Dan. But I love all the organic house tomatoes, the Roma tomatoes, the medley tomatoes, now and look the, at this. You got the tomato. And the vines. Okay. Okay. And then you've got the small kumato. You got the kumato and the cherry kumato. These are actually very good tomatoes white asparagus and as you can see they are stocking the produce shelves while everybody's shopping 
you gotta love it. It's a little mist time here. And here is some apple varieties that are coming down the table. We got the Sweet Tango, the Lady Alice, the Opal, the Fuji, the Honeycrisp, and the Gala. Look at here, we got some Pando grapes being stocked on the shelf here at Whole Foods. Some Pando grapes, you know, we should probably grab some of these. Where are these, where are these going? Are they grapes or on the other side? Okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> That's right, Pando grapes, they're going in the cart. Can you handle Pando? All right, Dan, well, we've shopped. We've got a bunch of produce, a lot of bananas, and some different items to go try out for later. Let's go check out, man. All right, let's do it to it. We have bananas all day long, do da, do da. We have bananas all day long, all at the produce aisle. Hey, how are you? Don't forget that orange juice down there too, Dan. That's right. I'm watching you. Listen, we got the produce. We got it, man. Yeah, we got it. Home in these. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're doing fresh produce stuff. We're so focused on going upstairs, we forgot a bag of produce. And I think, yeah. Sorry, John, it was your grapes. <laughs> It's been fun shopping with Patrick at Whole Foods, I tell you. Patrick, you're a great uh, shopping companion, that's for sure. A lot of fun. Folks, this is what we got to be loading up with, man. You know, hey, you don't want to go through life not getting these nutrients into your body and enjoying it at the same time. So, until next time, I'm Dan the Produce Man reminding you that it's always best when you get bags full of it fresh. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and follow. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Produce Industry Podcast. We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon.